Mountain Rescue, the Swiss story. 1810. Barry makes his way through the blizzard on the great St. Bernard Pass and suddenly starts to bark. He's found a man buried under an avalanche. The dog starts digging and frees him from where he's trapped, then gives him a little barrel of brandy. Well, the barrel of brandy is a legend, but Barry the dog did actually save about 40 people in the course of his working life. It made him the most famous avalanche search and rescue dog in the world. Barry died in 1814. He was stuffed, and you can still see him at the Natural History Museum in Bern. Quite a few tourists come to Switzerland to see him. In Barry's time, mass tourism didn't exist yet. Mountain climbing was done, if at all, by scientific expeditions. But many more want to climb the mountains. In the course of the 19th century, that changed, largely because of English enthusiasts who started climbing the Alps as a sport. The only problem was, the Swiss people took a dim view of this new sport and didn't want rescue efforts to be paid for out of public funds. Fortunately, the Swiss Alpine Club appeared. It was started in 1863 by a group of men in the railway station cafe in Alton. Their initial goal was to promote mountain climbing. In 1901, the club organised the first rescue missions in the Alps, but only for its members. They didn't have Barry, or any other dog, that is, until the Second World War. The Swiss Army started using Alsatians in rescuing its men. That gave the Alpine Club a new idea when the war ended. They didn't use St. Bernards, but instead Alsatians, Labradors and Border Collies. Later, they were joined by the helicopters of the Rega, which started in 1952 to do airborne rescues. Rega and the Alpine Club worked together to look after mountain rescue needs until 2005, when they created a division specialising in rescue, the Swiss Alpine Rescue Service. Klaus and Florina belong to it. They're among 2,998 volunteer rescue workers. They work alongside the professionals of the Rega, like Luca, a pilot, and Thomas, who's the coordinator of the switchboard that handles all 1414 emergency calls. Over 2,000 people were helped last year, not just in winter, but also in summer. It seems a different world from the days of Barry and his 40 rescues. And yet, he remains the most stirring symbol of Swiss mountain rescue.